Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of one and one questions of SLT students. In today's video, we will be tackling SLT biotechnology and SLT biomedical technology. I have been doing videos about SLT and I've not really spoken a lot about these two fields. So this video is was based on popular demand by students who really wanted to know about biotechnology and biomedical technology. So in this video, we'll be talking about what biotechnology is, what biomedical technology is, the course details, what you'll be learning as a student, and the career and postgraduate opportunities available for you under these two programs. This is not a video where I tell you a particular program is better than another program. I'm just giving us details so we can know more about these two programs. So let's get down to it. Now, what is SLT biotechnology? First of all, to understand what SLT biotechnology is all about, you need to understand what biotechnology is. Now, biotechnology is a field, is a growing field of science that combines biotechnology and uh, that combines biology and technology. It involves manipulating living organisms and cells to produce products that are beneficial to man. It includes fields like um, genetic engineering, molecular biology, biochemistry and microbiology to help develop products and find solutions to problems in the environment. Now, biotechnology is divided into several fields. And these fields include genetic, genetic engineering, bioprocessing, medical biotechnology, agricultural biotechnology, environmental biotechnology, and industrial biotechnology. So the SLT biotechnology combines biology, chemistry, and technology to enhance the power of living organisms and biological systems for practical application. The SLT biotechnology program equips students with comprehensive understanding of the principles of biology and the various application and the various application in different industries, including healthcare, agriculture, environmental, and pharmaceuticals. The SLT, in SLT biotechnology, students gain solid foundation in areas such as genetics, biochemistry, microbiology, cell biology, and molecular biology, like I mentioned earlier. And you learn to apply these principles to manipulate biological systems. There's a particular course I did recently on gut microbiome, and we could see that I could see bio biotechnology in play in that course because we're able to combine technology which, which also involves computational mathematics and software development based on the characteristics of particular microorganisms. So this, as this is a particular area of biotechnology that is still developing. Now the curriculum involves both theory and laboratory sessions, which is very important in SLT. And it allows students to develop skills that are essential, skills like experimental analysis, data analysis and scientific research. So for the master's program and the career opportunities available under the biotechnology, SLT biotechnology option, you could go into, you could be a genetic engineer or you could go into genetic engineering where you learn how to manipulate genes to produce genetically modified organisms. You could also learn bioprocessing and biomanufacturing using bioreactors, learning fermentation processes, learning quality control methods and um, working in pharmaceutical and food industries. You could also venture in agricultural biotechnology that develop into plant biotechnology and animal biotechnology where you do gene man manipulations to improve crop production, improve um, disease resistance and all in plants. They also have environmental biotechnology where you can where you manipulate living organisms for bio, bio remediation to help reduce to improve sustainability practices and reduce global food security. They also have industrial biotechnology where you um, work with the production of biofuels, um, biochemicals, and biomaterials, and you explore topics like enzyme, enzyme technology, bioreactor design, and bioinformatics. These are the various areas that you can look into if you study SLT biotechnology and uh, various, these are the various career opportunities available to you when you study SLT biotechnology. Now, what is SLT biomedical technology? And as, as I said before, 
these two courses are interrelated. They have similarities, but their focus are quite different. And you see from my definition that biotechnology has a wider focus, but biomedical technology is basically focused on things that are related to human health and diseases. So it, it applies, excuse me, so it's a synergy of biotechnology and medical technology, which consists of the application of biological and medical engineering in solving problems related to man. Related to man. Now, biomedical, the medical there stands that it's what basically between, related to health and diseases of man. It is concerned with theory, design and production of biomedical systems and components in different basics and um, in, in different levels of healthcare. It's um, the biomedical technology majorly focuses on preventive, therapeutic and rehabilitative um, healthcare. Therefore, biotechnology, biomedical technology broadly means application of engineering principles and concepts to area of living things with the main aim to solve human health and diseases. Now, in students that study biomedical technology have the ability to develop imaging, te imaging techniques like um, medical imaging techniques like MRI machine, MRI scan. They can also help in the repair and maintenance of these imaging devices. Also create biomedical scans, biomedical sensors. Also focus on prosthetics, um, prosthetics fabrication. That is when somebody and is amputated, is a biomedical engineer that can work on design and development of prosthetics. They also work on medical robotics and laboratory design, laboratory equipment, design of laboratory equipment using clinical settings. Upon completion of the SLT biomedical pro biomedical engineering, you as a graduate or, you, or for postgraduate program, you can move into biomedical informatics, biomedical equipment managers, where you focus on repairing and management, maintenance of um, equipment like baby incubators, um, PCR machines, and what's not in healthcare industries. You can also go into research and development where you work with other bodies, other areas like microbiology or genetic engineer to develop certain things to improve human health and diseases. You can also work as a bioengineer or a tissue engineer focusing on plastic surgery and prosthetics. Now, plastic surgery does not require just a doctor to come and do plastic surgery. It also requires a biomedical engineer that knows the relation between these living systems and engineering principles. You could also work in, in the educational, industri in educational institutions where you teach biomedical engineering as a course. Now, in summary, I can, we can say that biotechnology and biomedical technology are, are related, but their scope and application and nature of focus are quite different. Biotechnology has a wider range of application that goes beyond medicine. It goes into agriculture, it goes into the environment and the industry. But biomedical technology is specifically focused within the healthcare and medicine. So you hardly see a biomedical engineer or biomedical technologist working in the agricultural sector, but you will definitely see a biotechnologist working in the healthcare sector, if you know what I said there. You will not see a biomedical technologist working in the environmental sector or in the agricultural sector, but you can see a biotechnologist working in the healthcare sector. Meaning that a biotechnologist, if, a, if someone that studies SLT biotechnology choose to focus on medical technology, you can find the person working in the healthcare sector. Now, the biotechnology, biotechnology focuses, focuses on the manipulation of living organisms with technology so as to produce new products and technologies around um, living things. But biomedical technology applies engineering and technology to enhance medical practices and develop things like MRI machines, CT scans, also um, other things to improve human health and patient care. 
I hope with these few points of mine, I've been able to dissect what the difference between biomedical technology and biotechnology is all about. If you have more details, please drop it in the comments below. Or you have more questions or things I did not cover, please drop it in the comment section. I would also like for you to give this video a thumbs up and please do subscribe to the channel so it can reach other SLT students that have questions like this. I hope to see you next time. Thank you. Bye. I remain Abu Emmanuel John.